Okay, I am now back at Azura Shrine, as I promised I would eventually be. And it's even coming up to be dusk, which is lovely, for she is the goddess of dawn and dusk. Thus making my time of arrival most appropriate. Is that a snowberry that I can harvest? Yes, it is. You stay back here, Chocolate Drop. I have big important things to talk about. With the nice elf lady up here, I imagine. Unless Azura herself would deign to speak to me. But I doubt I've earned that honour. This isn't like in Oblivion, where the gods will just talk to you willy-nilly. Except for Sanguine. He seemed quite up for it. <coughs> <coughs> yes. Sorry for coughing in your presence, my goddess. Allow me to chat with your elfy friend here. Azura Star. I knew the Lady of Twilight had sent you for a reason. Hand it over to me. I will ask Azura to restore the star to its original purity. Here, take it. I will commune with Azura. Do it now. Azura, mother of roses, goddess of dusk and dawn, your chosen champion has returned your star. She wishes to speak to you herself. Please, place your hands on the altar. And you will hear her voice. Ooh, this is exciting. Allow me to place my hand. Oh, it's a really cold looking altar. There's snow everywhere. I'm going to get frostbite on my little fingers. Ah, they're gloved. I suppose I'll be fine. Let's do this. Greetings, mortal. You have followed my guidance through the veils of twilight and rescued my star from Malin Varen. But his soul still resides within, protected by his enchantments. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. Is there any way to cleanse the star? Eventually, the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But I doubt you have the hundred or so years it would take to wait. No, only one option remains. I will send you inside the star. What? You will banish Malin's soul there. I don't... Tell me when you are ready, mortal. I still have a bit of a cold. I don't think it's good for my immune system to be going into any Daedric artifacts right now, but... Apparently I have no choice. I'm ready to enter the star. <coughs> have faith, mortal. <coughs> so ready. I will be watching over you. Good, because... Oh, it's going to be cramped in here. Ah, my disciples have sent me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting... hungry. Oh, dear. Why? There's something different about you. You cannot escape your fate, Malin. And who are you to challenge me? I have conquered mortality itself. I've spat in the eyes of the Daedric Lords. This is my realm now. I've sacrificed too much to let you take it from me. Oh, uh, we'll play the chasing game. I am a cat. <laughs> oh my lordy doddy do. This man means business. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay. Right, if this is the way you want to play it, you little sock puppet. First of all, Azura may not be doing any fi anything physically to help, but I do have the artifact of another Daedric God on my side. Ow. Okay, so fast healing, plus fire bolt. Right. First of all, this Kine Reeve could do with dying. So, major vitification, plus fire bolt. Right. Last healing. First of all, lovely. Okay, so I've got that. Oh my gosh, okay, there's more of them. I can I can handle that. I can handle that. I can't handle that. Alright. Okay. This is going to be quite a gauntlet. Oh, what? Really? Really? Oh, for... 
monkey's sake. Fine. Sorry about this, people. This is absolutely murdering the narrative flow. The narrative flow has been murdered. It was killed by an inept cat who got fireballed four times in the face by two separate kind reeves doing their daedric thing as he chased an elf across the land bloody dee doo dee doo doo hand it over to me here take it i will come yep good good do it Azura. get it done get it done oh my gosh Azura, la 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 mother of rogue ooh goddess of dusk and dawn your chosen champion has returned your star she, wishes to <coughs> she does good. Move. Greetings, mortal. I have. I have followed you have your followed guidance. My guidance. I really have. With veils of twilight. Yeah. And rescued my, oh my star God. from Malan Varan. I know. But his soul still resides within, oh protected gosh. by his enchantments. Yep. Until he is purged, my artifact is useless to you. The viewers have heard this already. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah. Eventually, oh the star will fade back into my realm in oblivion. But, but I, I doubt, doubt you have the hundred or so years, years it would take to wait. No, no only, only one, one option remains. remains. I, will I will send you inside the star. You, you will banish, banish me in soul there. there. Gosh, wouldn't her voice? Tell me when you are ready, mortal. Wouldn't her voice be so much creepier if it did indeed have my voice running under it? Have faith, mortal. I will be watching over you. Not enough to give me like an auto save or anything, though, eh? Ah, my disciples I have to do that sent myself. me a fresh soul. Good. I was getting hungry. Why? There's something different about you. Can't you can't save. This is my realm now. Quick save. We have quick saved. We have achieved. Okay, so I have to fight my way through. Hey! Oh, he lightning bolted me. I see. We have to fight our way through a million bagillion kind reeves. Which, you know, fight fire with fire, really. I smell weakness too. Sadly, it's mine. Heels! Heels! Okay, items. Potions. Do I have anything that will help me? I'll do. Yeah, I'll take your heart. Alright. Sam, I require your help once more. Better yet, after this, I'll use my own flame matronarchs. I mean, flame matronarchs are pretty feeble compared to a kind reef, but they do have an immunity to fire. So, who knows what the kind reefs will be able to do to them. Items. Potions. Blomp. Go. Okay. Right. Let's see if my own magic can actually hold up to this. So, Conjure a Flame Atronach. Let's see if she can do anything of value. Not bad, my little Atronach friend, but are you going to get out of my way? Good. Let's search this Kine Reef. Okay. Let's search this Kine Reef. Lovely hearts. Let's quick save this while we can. Now, where are you, you elfy bastard? Where'd you get to? There you are. Oh, Malin. You stand no chance. You hear that music? That amazing music? That's my music. Right. Where's my Atronarch? Is she not going to join in? Items? No, sorry. Magic. Conjuration. 
I'll get the frost one out actually since he uses um, lightning. Beautiful. Yes, I can indeed do that, ladies and gentlemen. I am just that good. So let us get my Mesa Vitrification out. No, not like this. Beautiful. The star is free to purify itself. Don't worry, mortal. I will return you before you are cleansed. Okay. Oh my. Oh dear. Return me. My star has been restored, and Malin's soul has been consigned to oblivion. You have done well, mortal. As was destined, you are free to use my star as you see fit. Thank you, Lady Azura. Farewell, mortal. Know that Azura will be guarding over the threads of your fate in the twilight. Awesome. You got anything new to say to me? While you were in the star, Azura gave me a vision. Her last, she said. I have never been without Azura's foresight since escaping Morrowind. I don't know what to do. I saw a if dragon you behind me, you there. I'd be honored to accompany you, guardian of the star. It would give me a purpose. Yeah, that's definitely a dragon just going about its daily business. Thank you, Arani um Arania. Twilight, watch over you, guardian. So Azura isn't giving you more visions. No. She said my part was over. That my fate had moved beyond the <coughs> twilight. <coughs> and I was on my own. I will tend Azura's shrine when you do not need me. I still have my duties. But for the first time I feel alone. I won't take you now. But perhaps I will come back for you, Aranea Lenith. Until next time, Guardian. Indeed. So, let me look upon my new goodie. Azura Star, there it is. Fully fixed. And wonderful looking. And that'll provide me with infinite souls. I'm rather impressed with my conjuration skill there. I've never really... tried it. I've always gotten in the habit of just using... Um, sang the Sanguine Rose for when I want a friend to help me out, but that Frost Atronarch I summoned looked pretty beefy. I think I might have to get into the habit of summoning more of those, thus making Picks and Pooks even more overpowered than he already is. Oh, yes. Right. I've decided I don't want to steal the Staff of Arcane Authority for that knobhead, because not only is he a Stormcloak supporter, he's also just a horrid little scabby worm in himself. So let's go back to the college, because I have done many quests for these people. And I'm sure they'll be happy to see me. Wouldn't you be happy to see me? Yes, you would be. Admit it. You'd be very happy to see me. Even in my current gangrenous state. Well, I say gangrenous. I really mean has a slight cough and a bit of an edge to his voice. So, gangrenous, certainly an exaggeration, but... One that I feel is entirely justified. Come on, goat, let's ride. You're too slow. And that is why you will be killed by dragons. So yes, you'll notice I figured out how to get down the mountain properly instead of abseiling off the side. That's rather good. Wouldn't you say? Hello there, are you friend or foe? Friend. Friend. So I'm not cutting recording because Winterhold is just there. And frankly, I'm very lazy, and getting this all done in one chunk will mean much less editing. Fwa 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 fwa. Fwa. Oh my gosh, there's something after me. Oh, it's just a wolf. I do not fear you, wolf. For I have fire. <laughs> Oh, what's this? An ice wolf, you say? Don't worry, chocolate drop. I will protect you. 
I will protect you, Cotton Crop. Don't worry about it. There we go. Oh, I'm gonna get a lot of smithing done when I get home. I have many, many pelts. Come on, chocolate drop. Off we go. Herpy dur, dur, I think I've harvested those. It's hard to tell when you've harvested snowberries because the plants, they, look, they still have berries on them. So have I missed anything? Yeah, see, this is the downside of me not cutting recording. You get to see me being a dork. Which, for those of you who don't know, is like a duck, but with a Yorkshire accent. So. What time is it? It's getting late, picks and pooks. You could do with a nice sleep when you've handed in all these quests. Nice, big, cosy nap. To recharge your energy. Heal the body, heal the mind. And all the things in between, such as the lower jaw. That's halfway between the body and mind. And, um... Those tubes in your ears. Yes. These are all the things that sleep benefits. So, we are back in the cushy, comfortable land of Winterhold. So, I will see if the Jarl is up so I can give him his stinking helmet of noobishness. Oh, I actually did get the helmet on air. I just remembered the disastrous last episode that you'll have no doubt just suffered through. Yes. Come on. Could I help you? No. By sure. Is that is that Azura Star? How did you come to possess such a rare treasure? More to the point, Pixon. Why are you showing it off? Keep these things to yourself. So, let us chat, you and I. I don't care how many colleges they build, or how much the sea swallows up. I'll outlast them all. I'm almost entirely sure you will. I have the helm of Winterhold. Can you believe that this hole used to contend for the throne of the High King? Now, perhaps others will listen. Here, your reward is promised. You have Winterhold's thanks. Ah, oh, that's very sycophantic. I want to make this perfectly clear now. I'm only doing this because I like to do quests. Once I officially join the Imperial Legion, I will kill you and everyone you know. But for now, Anything else you need, my yarl? There is room in my court for a new thane. Oh, it's an honorary title, mainly. But there are a few perks someone like you could make use of. However, I could only grant the title to someone who is known throughout my hold. You help my people, and I'll make you my thane. It would be an honor. Ooh. Good luck to you. I'm going to be such a traitorous little worm. Um. I've helped your people, apparently. Then by my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Winterhold. Took that on good faith. I faith. grant you this weapon from the armory to serve as your badge of office. Oh, I'm just going to sell I'll it. I'll also notify the guards of your new title. Wouldn't, Wouldn't want, want them, them to think, think you're part of the common, common rabble now, now, would we? You stole that line from the good Thane. Okay. Mm-hmm. Fuck you. So, I am now the Thane of two cities, though, admittedly, given that this... Ooh. Yeah, I'll, I'll gladly take that off your hands for free. But yeah. Given that this is a very pro-Stormcloak town, or at least it sounds like it is, sometime down the line I will be betraying this fellow in a most spectacular fashion, so quite how attached I'm going to become to this particular position of Ours power. Is the only family left that truly care Shut up. What happens to Winterhold? You've completely broken my train of thought, woman. I think I was going the along the lines of I have no real loyalty to this place, or at least, while I do have loyalty to this town, I do not have loyalty to the people that run it. And I will see them stricken down in the most violent and horrible ways imaginable such that the Empire will rule Skyrim as it should. 
it's for Skyrim's own good. These stupid stormcloaks going around being all racist and Nazi-ish. It's just... Ugh. Couldn't have picked a worse time to go around being all Nord supremacist. This is really a time when unification, or rather unity, is most desperately needed. Not only do we have dragons, but we also have that wretched Thalmor. And I know, I know, the Empire are having a bit of trouble with Thalmor with themselves, but... But... I just don't think the Stormcloak way is going to get us any closer to victory against those vile elves. I do not, I do not. The Empire may have shown a bit of a lack of backbone, but that's just because they need picks and pooks to give them a kick up the bum, I tell you. So, now that we're done with that grand adventure, I've just realised how anticlimactic the rest of this video must be, by the way. We've done all, all of Azura's stuff, and now I am just going around chatting with college folk, though they are all in bed. So, gosh, they go to sleep early, don't they? Heavens to Betzel. Jazargo? This thing from Sartor, what does he do? Jazargo cannot say. I've tested your scrotum. And? With the magnificent? Ugh. <laughs> if I didn't know better... <laughs> I'd say you were trying to kill me. Oh, Jezargo takes this to mean it did not go well. This was not the intention, to be sure. It is true that Jezargo was slightly concerned there may have been uh, problems. But you were not placed in Han's way on purpose. Mm. Still, you are a good friend to Jezargo now for taking <coughs> the risk. Jezargo thanks you. Because I did that off-screen, I'll just let you know, he um, gave me scrolls which put a fire shield around me that was supposed to be effective against undead. But all it did was cause massive damage to me whenever an undead came near me. So, oh, uh, Jazago can be a follower, eh? Well, fuck that. May you walk on warm sands. We're in Skyrim, so it's not likely. So that's Jazago dealt with. Any other crying baby? Boys, you need my help? Ah, yes. Urag and um, all of his raggy goodness. Ow! So I'll get, have a chat to him and then I will cut this video short. Well, not short, I think it's a reasonable length video. I will just. I'll do this and then picks and poops go to bed and I will say goodbye. That is my plan. Do you love that plan? I don't Tempting remember services. that being here. One of the few things that keep Was this always here? Activating it doesn't do anything. Good to see Skyrim still has such fine people. Well, it looks like they managed to move that artifact here, for sure. Anyway. To the Arcana na 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 na. That is, I believe, the official name. Oh god, it's gonna take me forever to find anyone in this place. Oh no, there you are. Hello. You there. I don't want to see you treating any of these books poorly. Are we clear? We're so clear, we're like crystals. Hundreds of years have gone into assembling this collection. It's going to stay pristine, understand? Here are the books that went missing. Well, well. And you seem to be in one piece. Thank you. I'll look these over and inform Miravel if I find anything relevant. Night of Tears, eh? I remember this one. Well, isn't that interesting? Did you read it yourself? If I recall it correctly, that has some interesting implications. You should mention that to Toldir. And here. I suppose you've earned these. What have I earned? What have I earned? I've earned a racial phylogeny. Daughter of the Nibbon. Oh, I think these are he's giving me books in exchange for books, I see. Uh, are there any special books you're looking for? As a matter of fact, there are. Have you ever heard of Shalador? No. Immensely powerful mage, back in the first era. Had an understanding of magic few have ever matched. He holed himself up in Labyrinthian, and devoted all his time to research and study. But more than you would imagine possible. Since then, his writings have been scattered all over Skyrim, but are little use to anyone who can't translate them. I'm one of the few who can. 
I've heard whispers of more of his work having turned up. If you can track it down, it may prove useful to all of us. Alright, I'll get that done. Also, here's the other book you were looking for. Looks like you're still in one piece. And more importantly, so is the book. Thank you. Lovely. I um, guess that's me done. I'll have a chat to him off air. Until next time. So, let me have a quick look. Well, I think that's all the um, college stuff sorted for now. So, thank you for watching this video. I hope it was reasonably good, and I will see you later.